This video shows you how to turn off the screensaver in a 4K Fire TV stick. Now, it used to be the case that having the screensaver on took up a lot of memory to store the photos. Now, luckily in this new update as of April 2021, it doesn't take as much space nowadays to have the screensaver switched on. But for some people, they do find it an, an annoyance. And obviously, with a Fire TV stick, you don't have a great deal of space anyway. So it does make sense to try and reclaim as much space as you can. Modern day screens don't tend to suffer as much from screen burn as older screens used to. And most of the time, you know, you're not going to have a screen on static you know, for, for long periods of time, it's very, very unlikely. So uh, it's usually pretty safe to turn the screensaver off. So all you need to do is grab your remote control, okay? And once you've got it, find the home button, which is the picture of the house on the remote control, and press and hold it until this menu appears. And if this menu doesn't appear, then best thing to do is just Press the picture of the house once and then press and hold it and then it should appear. Then go across to settings. Once settings is highlighted, press the middle button on the remote control. Go across to display and audio. Once that's highlighted, press the middle button on the remote control. Make sure that screen is highlighted. Again, press the middle button on the remote control. And then you want to go down here. You've got two start times now. So you've got start time home, which is basically when you're on this screen, it will say but the, the screen saver will kick in after two minutes. You've also got start time um, apps and content which apps and content is when you're in an app or content and not actually using it not pushed any buttons on the remote control for a couple of minutes then it will kick in but like i say if you want to turn the screen saver off then what you're going to have to do is you have to turn it off in both of these so go to start time home highlight that press the middle button on the remote control then go down to never just down there, press the middle button on the remote control and then go down to start time apps and content, press the middle button on the remote control, then go down to never, press the middle button on the remote control. OK, and then you just need to press the back button on the remote control once and then once again. And then we need to press and hold the picture of the house on the remote control until this menu appears and then go across to settings once settings is highlighted press the middle button on the remote control and then we need to go across to applications once applications is highlighted press the middle button on the remote control and then go down to manage installed applications once that's highlighted press the middle button on the remote control and then we need to go all the way down to screensaver just there and as you can see screensaver does take up a little bit of memory it used to take up about 360 370 megabytes now it's only taking about 45 megabytes so it's it's not taking up as much but it's still taking up a, a, a small chunk of space so Let's just go into screensaver. So with screensaver highlighted, press the middle button on the remote control. We want to make sure that full stop is highlighted. Press the middle button on the remote control once. It will look like it's done nothing. Believe me, it has. And then we need to go down to clear cache or cache. Press the middle button on the remote control once that's highlighted and then go to clear data. Press the middle button on the remote control and then press it once again to confirm. And as you can see now, our data and cache or cache is showing zero bytes. So unfortunately, we can't do anything about the application size. That stays at 17.61 or whatever it is. There's nothing we can do about that. So but we'll just leave that. But hopefully now the cache or cache and data will not start to fill up automatically as the screensaver won't kick in. So let's just press the back button once and then press it again and then press it again. And we're back to this menu, press it again once more and we should be back to the home screen. So there you go. I hope this guide helps and thank you very much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CWTech. That's at CWTech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube.
and don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.